Hey now everybody, it's Jason Acorn here with the Boneyard and welcome to season two. We're going to start the season off with one of my hunts. I headed south to Blairmore, Alberta and hooked up with good friends Trevor and Ginger Garbiard. With hopes of bagging a mule deer of a lifetime. And with the amount of mule deer we were seeing in those first two days, I knew it was meant to be. Hey everybody, it's Acorn here at the Boneyard. I'm just about to leave Red Deer and head on down south to southern Alberta, Crow's Nest Pass, Blairmore, Pincher Creek area, to hopefully put a smack down on one of the biggest mule deers of my life, my career. So stay tuned. I'm going to bring you all along, and this is going to be one hell ride, I'll tell you. So stay tuned. The action's about to begin. September 14th and it's 28 degrees out so I'm hoping that's not going to have an adverse effect on the mule deer hunting down south. The farther south I go the hotter it gets. I just passed the district of Pincher Creek sign and I just drove by a dead buck in the ditch so I saw velvet on him and I'm a crazy SOB when it comes to stuff like that so I have to walk back and check it out and just show you one of the fatalities today. Blairmore finally and uh, my lord this place is unbelievably beautiful I could have wasted so many cards stopping every five minutes to uh, to do some videotaping because it's just like around every corner it was more beautiful than the next so it's incredible but this is where I'm going Timber and Tides. And now I'm in mule deer heaven. So Trevor and I head out for an evening hunt. 
What seems to be the problem there, Trevor? What the fuel. Touch that remote, the boneyard will be right back. And so will I. We're back. So it's our second morning. It's gotta be below zero. What are we gonna do this morning? We're gonna go kill one. I think so. I think it's time. It is time. We got a field with some big bucks in it and hopefully some elk, so we're gonna try to head them off and uh, put the smack on something big. Here we go again. So time. Trevor and I are seeing a ton of deer, but they're either too young or we don't have permission. But finally, we have some shooter bucks in the right spot, and the stock is on. What can I say? Failure. There was like seven, eight bucks there. And uh, more than half were shooters, but I, you know, crawled on my belly as far as I could. It was a young buck stayed back and watched me and uh, they came over the hill. I had them again at uh, just uh, a pretty extreme distance, but I've been shooting that about uh, 70 some yards and then uh, they jumped the fence and the rest is history it's now lunchtime so we head back to trevor and ginger's place to regroup and to have a bite to eat on the way back to town trevor makes a quick stop to show me some of his rams look at the horns on those sheep unbelievable We're all fed up, so we head back out in search of a big old muley. Of course, we find some. Now all I need is a little luck. Slowly I build this wall of mud. So I'm crouched along a fence line in the tall grass and those bucks are coming straight for me. As you can see, there's a bird hunter and the bucks are fixated at this guy. And as that bird hunter keeps moving up the hill, he's pushing those bucks right towards me.
oh, man, they were gonna, <laughs> they were gonna jump the fence and land right on top of me. I had to draw. What could I do? I came down a little too much because of the wind, eh? I thought I had to, I better scoot down a little more. <sighs> yeah, that three point was, he would have been really nice. <sighs> three stocks this morning, zero bucks, but I'm telling you that was the closest yet. 22 yards. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Yeah, let's just, uh, we'll sit and watch. Why don't you show them they're standing out in the middle of the field. Well, there they go. But you know what? I don't think it's over. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna let them bed down a little bit. And, uh, we'll see if I can get in close. But I'll tell you, man, they were coming on a string, like straight towards me. Not two feet to the left or to the right, but I mean straight for me. I had to draw. They were 20 feet from the fence line and uh, I'm in the, the deep grass, but you know what? That was awesome. It's been a great morning. That's my third stock and that was my closest one yet. You know, that three points, the biggest of the bunch and he's tall and wide and heavy. And uh, it's not about the score on this guy, man. I just love him. So we'll try, we'll try again. Come on guys, we know you can do it. Okay, the big three turned around, all the other bucks are heading that way. He went down and he bedded down in the uh, hay bale stack there. So we're gonna uh, sneak around, I'm gonna put an arrow in him. We don't know he could be dead. Uh, we're gonna try to sneak up. We, we're coming from the opposite direction. The wind's in our favor. So uh, join us. We're gonna go find him. <laughs> yeah! Here we go. This is Southern Alberta mule deer, man, at its best. This guy's like a 163 point. Uh, we were glassing the field. There was 18 muley, muley bucks, and he was the he was the granddad. He's an old boy. I, I just I can't be any happier down here with uh, Trevor Timber and Tines. Awesome. He's heavy. He's just beautiful, man. I just I am ecstatic. Woo! Boneyard, first kill of 2012. And you were there. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. If you're ever wanting to ask Jason or Calvin a question, check out their Facebook or Twitter page at Adding Bones.